Just wanna get a little eyes with Benjamin and get the soul vibe right, Heather. Yeah. Shade 45, man. Yeah, eyes with Benjamin, new project. It's called Humans. I just wanted to get the soul vibe right. Because I have somebody here, like a lot of times we have artists on the show and I and I and I, and I talk about how I know them and stuff and and it's an acquaintance, you know, it's a colleague. But I have somebody I consider family up yeah, in here. Yeah, yeah. When you've been rocking with somebody for 15 <laughs> years or more. That's right, yeah. And you've been watching each other's journey and seeing each mm-hmm. other's evolution and knowing each other from one point and seeing, and seeing the other person just shine and glow every, every step they take, even in adversity. Amen. I watched this woman <laughs> transform adversity into opportunity. I watched mm-hmm. it. They didn't always do it right, but she always got it right. Come on. Ooh, man. Ah. I seen her come into the game with just a hope and a prayer. And I watched her make that hope and a prayer into reality. She's written hit songs for a lot of people that you know. Whether she's worked with the legendary Earth, Wind, and Fire. Whether she's worked with Jamie Foxx. Whether she's worked with Nas. And rather, she's work with the greatest, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> she has never let us down. And oh now God. she's entering a new phase of her life. Yay. And with her, she brought a very lucky man today. Hey, how does he? And I, and I know he knows how lucky he is because how silly they act on Instagram. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, you know you lucky when you just forget everything about yourself. And then you put yourself forward on Instagram for the world to see how crazy you could be about your love. Case in point, I actually went on her Instagram. Mm-hmm. I haven't said her name yet. And then pull something from it. Yeah, baby, we in this New Orleans. We just checked out the I Heart Media. You know what I'm saying? We out here live, baby. Hey, what is you doing, Marsha? Hey, what is you doing, baby? Oh, what is that dance you call it? <laughs> oh, baby, you know, you know, hit me, baby. Oh my gosh, what is you doing? That's her fiance, Daz, who happened to be sitting in the studio with us today. But welcome, Grammy Award-winning, critical acclaimed. Artist, person, mother, yes. and life partner, the one and only Marsha Ambrosius. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. mm. What an introduction. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, man. Hi, Sway. Hey, Marsha. Hi, everybody. Hi, Marsha. <laughs> What's Mar- happening? You know what I love about you? We, we don't have to um, always communicate. Nah, we but we don't lose a step. Marsha no. hit me out of nowhere, just mm-hmm. out the blue. It's coming. Right. <laughs> Got it's a new that, project. It's coming. Yeah, I, I make a habit to, you know, the people that I actually know. Yeah. I'm going to hit you. This mm-hmm. isn't an Instagram or Twitter or a Facebook thing. This is, I know you. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 So, yeah. yeah, I have to hit you with yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm extremely happy for you. And, you. And, and let me tell you why. You got this new music. Um, mm-hmm. Love ya. Love ya. Which is out right now, mm-hmm. and, and don't wake the baby. Yes, man. And, <laughs> and the artwork mm-hmm. for I think it's don't wake the baby. Yes. It is a breast you in a with a breast pump. It, it's what um <laughs> it's the it's the things that people don't tell you going oh. into motherhood. Okay. Because you you hear it. You, there's no manual for that. There's no yeah. book that teaches you that. Okay, when you have this baby, you're gonna be breastfeeding. It sounds glorious. Yeah. Until you actually have to do it and get yeah. this breast pump out and your 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 boobs are, you know, huge, yeah. engorged, full of milk, juicy good stuff that this baby wants to eat. Uh-huh. It's not so sexy unless no. the person that you're with finds you sexy in no matter what really? you know, situation you're in. And it's crazy. That's how <laughs> Don't Wake the Baby kind of transpired, even though I did write it for Beyonce. Yeah. Oh, and um, you yeah, wrote it for I Beyonce. Even, okay, yeah, okay. I even had the lyrics in there. It's like Auntie Solange, where's your mom's? Like, I've got to handle business. I got to go and you know. Mm-hmm. So when I was when she was recording the Lemonade album, I didn't know that she was in that frame of mind, which uh-huh. is why I wrote a song about her and Jay Z having you know what is a real grown yeah. relationship. Yeah. So um, don't wake the baby. You don't know, wake the baby. I have business to do, but I still want to have sex with you. Wow. At the end of the day, you know, the, all the ups and downs, the arguments, nothing is peaches and cream. Yes, uh, like you showed, we do get silly on Instagram, but uh-huh. we're real people. We get tired, new 
parenthood for the both of us is exhausting and so beautiful at the same time. Yeah. But it can get on them, you know, get on our nerves. But we still want to have sex. Uh, you get, ah, damn, damn, Marcia, you keep come bringing it back to sex, <laughs> man. I'm embarrassed because it dead, all comes, man. but it does <laughs> all come back to that. I don't understand why people aren't so forward we with that's what it sex? is. You still, all right, if it's not sex, you still want some love. You want some yeah. affection, want some love and affection. And right. Still want to have sex. Would you <laughs> say that? <laughs> still comes back to that. Can you give sex off your no, brain? No, because brain? that's <laughs> that's the music that I make. I okay. make it for purpose and with friends and lovers. And, right. Yeah, you know, yes. it's not like I switched up style. No, no, yeah, it's the premises still remain the same. So thankfully, in the seventeen years that you have known me, I didn't have that. I came from England, came mm-hmm. over here, and was writing all of these love songs that I had no idea about. I didn't mm-hmm. know what getting late was supposed to feel like uh-huh. or say yes. I hadn't had that type of love yet. Yeah. I was 23 when I did all that music. Yeah. So 17 years in and, you know, late nights and early, and mornings, early mornings and friends yeah. and lovers and so goods and 69s and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> I still didn't have it because mm-hmm. I was still just talking about what I aspire to have with someone. Okay. And now I'm glad that Instagram or Twitter or Facebook gives you a reflection of what I've now found what you have now. Yeah, someone to you just, just be silly with and be freaky with. Amen. There it is. And make babies with. Yeah. Yeah. We're one in. D- so D- can I ask this a question? <laughs> Go ahead, yeah, like, what are, like, what are you a stripper? <laughs> what do you do for, <laughs> for a living? No, wait, what, do you, what do you do for a living? I'm I'm managing. I'm oh, managing. you're managing. Yeah, yeah, okay, managing. cool. Yeah, so, um, just got started a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, managing. managing How'd y'all right meet? What, who who approached who? Okay, so uh, <laughs> two years ago, Flow a Tree were doing a reunion tour. I remember Decided this. to do a reunion tour. And it was both um, gratifying for the closure aspect of it, mm-hmm. but also the fact that him and I didn't know each other. My road manager at the time had invited him on tour to take care of the other portion of Flow a Tree. Mm-hmm. And we didn't speak for like three weeks. I just knew he was fine. Okay. okay. So I was like, okay, you're about to be a distraction. I'm just going to stay away, keep my head down and, and you know, kind of get some work in. But we got to Norfolk, Virginia and performed at the Norva. The Norva has a basketball court in that venue. Oh. So I saw his jump shot and I knew that everything was going to be okay. So not only is he fine, <laughs> he plays. He can actually play. Because if you can't, I don't know. It's it's a thing with me. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I've been, other than music, basketball is my thing. So if you can't play, eh, yeah, it's yeah. kind of a turn off. It ain't going to work. But it turned me on. Yes. Because he could. Yes. And I was like, okay. So that night, <laughs> July 15th, I'll never forget it. Um, I asked him if he wanted to go grab something to eat after the show. I like that. She and asked we, him. She and we walked him. to Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay, the kitchen walked. was closed. Okay. And we ended up walking all around Virginia <laughs> looking for something to eat for like four or five hours. Because uh-huh. IHOP happened to have inventory that day, so they were closed. Uh-huh. It's supposed to be a 24-hour. So we walked for like an hour. And then we just spoke about love, life, God, family, aspirations, uh-huh. beliefs, dreams, and we haven't been apart. Ever since, since that day, man, you wasn't a little bit in. You know, this is Marsha and Brosis, man. I mean, you, he didn't it know could who be, I was. It could be intimidating, you know. But but he, eventually, he figured out who you are. Yeah, eventually, I did. Um, <laughs> how'd that go? It's life, man. I look at everybody the same, man. So yeah. it wasn't. Oh, it's Marsha. Like Marsha said, I didn't know who she was before. Not a clue. You know, I you really her. didn't know who she was. I heard her music. I didn't know it was her. No, it was her. So. um you know, two years later, she's been the same person since I met her. So everything's been great. Where you from? I'm actually from Buffalo, New York. Oh, he came up, man. Yeah. Get that man around. Uh, <laughs> Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York. Oh, man. Yeah. That's my man right there. Yeah. So it's, yeah, yeah, you're right. So it's big. It's big for the city. It's big for the town. It's big for the city. You put, yeah. putting on for the town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Big for the city. I ain't bad at it. Now, now, now let me, congratulations on your love, man. You know, you know, because we, we, we spend a lot of time when we do our celebrity wire, we, we spend a lot of time. Reporting information about friends of ours whose relationship isn't going well, mm. or they're breaking up, or you know how would how what do you call it uncuffing season? Uncuffing, mm. yeah, uncuffing. uncuffing season. Take yeah. that, write that down, write that down. Yeah. I, you know, May, yeah, yeah, yeah. May, <laughs> May. I was gonna say, what's the date? May, May. It, 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 it usually it's happens one week before May. It is uncuffing season. People 
break up it, it, it like it in numbers is unbelievable you just feel like wait a second i thought but it's just this yearning for summer's freedom coming. they need yeah, yeah summer's coming so you know the winter and fall is cuffing season may starts on cuffing season okay I got you. I got you writing that down. I am. Okay. Yeah. That's, my girl. That's my girl right there. Uh, hey, Marsha, so yeah. what is your current situation with the music? Are you still, how are you releasing it? Independently. Okay. The last time I was here, um, crazy story, uh, with RCA. They used to be J Records. Yes. When they merged Clive and Davis. became yeah. RCA, it became a, a roster full of chicks that were just waiting for release dates. Mm -hmm. And it just feels like a hamster wheel. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm, I'm 15 years in it. I, I don't want to wait. I shouldn't have to. Mm -hmm. And that was annoying. So having the album Friends and Lovers with so much good music on there. That was a great album, man. It really was. Awesome album. And just not being able to facilitate what that was because, you know, once they're exiting that one basket, whether it's Alicia, whether it's... Monica, Brandy, mm -hmm. there's like 20 females over there. Yeah. So I just have to wait. It's not fair. Mm -hmm. So um, I had a conversation with Prince. Crazy. He had a, a wow. surprise pop-up show at the Palladium. And it was me, Janelle Monet, Dave Chappelle. Sorry for all the name dropping. No, I love I, it. I, I love I it. Go, to, go. It's crazy how Paint things work picture. out. Paint the, the picture. The revolution was here yesterday. Yeah. That's, yeah, crazy. that's crazy. I was like, Wendy, Lisa, this is happening. This is crazy. So, yeah, having this conversation with Prince. And he'd always told me, it's you. You're you. And I was like, what do you mean? You don't need anything else. You need you. I was like, you know, you're absolutely right. After that conversation, I called RCA. said, let me go. Mm -hmm. Let's walk away amicably. I don't want to have to fight. I don't want to do the whole, you owe me this, I owe you that. Let's just walk mm -hmm. and call it what it is. And they did. They so did it. Go. They let you go. It's not easy to do that. Wow. Not as a female that yeah. ultimately gi giving them late nights and early mornings, the first album mm -hmm. and recording that before I even got there. Mm -hmm. It's like giving them an album that cost maybe $2 to make. I'm exaggerating here, of course. Yeah. But then recouping in a week. So mm -hmm. we've already, I've already made you money, but you don't have to spend any money to make your money. Yeah. So I think I've been unfairly treated as an artist that can recoup. I can mm -hmm. just make you money because you don't have to do much. I already have a fan base, a crazy fan base that are going to be there regardless. But if that's just me, mm -hmm. it's not fair. What what am I facilitating a label situation if I'm not going to get the same treatment that they give everyone else? So, deuces. I'm I'm doing this. This is me. Um. Because what you just described is how pimps work. Pimping since been pimping. Since, <laughs> since been pimping, pimping. you know. Holy I'm, waiting, I'm making you money <laughs> for free, yeah. and I'm not getting back with just do. Yeah, and, and it's it's just yep. a, a hamster wheel. You have to get off. It's, it's and uh, I got to wait to make you money. I got, how about that? How about yeah. that? <laughs> then yeah. there's that. Then it's a calendar year, and you're like, okay, so what are we doing? First quarter, or am I in the fourth, and that's not fair? Yeah. It's just a bunch of unnecessary at the time in my career uh -huh. like where i'm at now it's not necessary for me so yeah. good for you yeah, yeah. marsha ambrosius is here man let's play love you and then we're gonna come love back you, love you, love you, love with you, some love. more yeah. hey Daz, welcome to the show man <laughs> yeah. glad to be here glad all right here. shape four five <laughs> Ooh, I was singing a duet with Marsha right there. Do you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I were. think I was in key. You was. It was beautiful. Was no, I? No. Yeah, you was. I couldn't do it again, mm -hmm. though. That's I can't Only when the song is playing. That's cool. It's crazy because Love You, my, my daughter was actually born to that song. What do you mean oh, born wow. to that song? I was in labor, and um, we were playing it in the background, and I gave birth. That song. Oh my gosh, so that's the, the first thing she heard. So anything goes wrong where she's crying her eyes out, we fed her, changed her, everything, she's calmed down, press play on that song, content. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. And we wrote that together. Who? Well, hit this one over De here. Des, you write Des, too? Yeah, 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 yeah. Des. I do a little bit of everything. So, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy because he heard the track and was like, babe, this is this one of them ones. And I was like, nah, you sure? He's like, nah, for real, it's one of them ones. I was like, 
Mm, let's see. So we recorded one version of it, and I wasn't really feeling the verses. And it was like, try it like this. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> and wow. I tried it like that. And <laughs> I was like, you know what? That works. That's so sincere. Like the look in your eyes, the feel, the warmest touch of your hand, the first. I knew it would be the last. The last time I'd be kissing someone else. That's crazy. Yeah, damn. Ooh, I got to chill off that. <laughs> right. Go. July 15th, it was July, that July our first kiss. So y'all no kissed that night? Y'all went looking for food? Yep. Went from nut speaking. <laughs> yeah, y'all went like, damn, <laughs> you went from not so knowing really her talking. Right, right, right. <laughs> Your tongue down her throat? Yes, man. What's with that, man? Y'all gonna have he y'all wedding reception at Buffalo <laughs> Wild Wings? <laughs> 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 know, right? You know what? We have to thank Buffalo Wild Wings yep. for being closed. Right. Like, uh -huh. we begged the kitchen. Like, please open. Just do a wing, something. Yeah. And they were like, nah, I think it's symbolic. He's from Buffalo. Buffalo Wild Wings. Like it's You gotta at least serve them at the wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> serving Buffalo Wild Wings at the wedding. Um, man, well, this is amazing. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm, so I'm really happy. Yeah. I, you, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I've known her since she first came over. Yeah, right. we've been you hooping across the pond and uh, and watched this amazing work, this soundtrack that you put together of all your, all your work. Working. Does it feel different now being independent? Um, being independent, it's 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 freed me up to not have to think so hard. Yeah. I can just release things. Before I was holding on to too much music because I was signed to a label. Yeah. Mm. So the creative outlet is, oh, Beyonce didn't take Don't Wake the Baby, take that. I'm a mother now. It applies. Because yeah. when I wrote it, I wrote <laughs> yeah. it like a year and a half ago, so it didn't apply then. Uh -huh. Now it absolutely does, which is why I have my titties out with okay. the breast pump on yeah, the cover. Because yeah. I'm like, oh, this is my life. It wasn't my life before, but I get it now. So mm -hmm. it's it's all of those things. It's it's the catalog of music that I can now give to fans without them having to wait for release dates. It's like, oh, when's it coming out? When I feel like it. When you feel when like it's, it. When it's right, Yeah, I will get it to you. Yeah. There's no middleman. It's me. Yeah. You know? The hoax is over. Yeah. You, you know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah, I think yeah. the, the music business yeah. is it's a big hoax that artists <laughs> need need to and you you do mm -hmm. need support in, to play the game of the music business. Yeah. But you could put out music whenever you want and, and your fan base will find it. Yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's 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 a time for it and the time yeah. is now for me. Like I I signed a major deal because I wanted to. Yeah. When I did. So now that I don't have to I'm not right mm -hmm. now. But let them zeros be some oh oh's. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Then I'll look at it and say, where are we putting this? Yeah. You know, because that's what new upcoming artists don't get. All they see is them zeros. Mm -hmm. I was like, but who does that go to and how much do I owe you if I take that? Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't want to forever be in debt. Like I said, it took me two bucks to make a label two million. Yeah. Wow. Those numbers are almost correct in the mm -hmm. grand scheme of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if I'm then taking a the front end of a buck, yeah, do the math. It's like, what's it worth when I could just do it yourself? Yeah, I ain't mad at that. Marsha Ambrosius is here. Tracy, couple things. Well, one fun mm -hmm. fact is, "Say Yes" was actually the soundtrack for when I lost my virginity. So shout out to you oh, in 2003 man. or four. Okay, that's so telling. <laughs> you don't remember but, um, the year. <clears throat> No, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just remember who. That's the most important. So you part. lost your virginity oh. with her voice in the yeah. background. Yeah, like a threesome. Uh, Can't yeah. Oh my god, so indirect so threesome. Good to find I, a I know. Hey, 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 how are you? So how you been? Sing one of the lyrics real quick, a cappella, and see what it does to her. Can you remember? it? <laughs> oh my god, this is so oh uncomfortable. I've never been looking at Marsha. No, when else are we gonna be? Okay, okay, okay. Go watch this, Tracy. I don't know if I want this nostalgia. There is only wow. one for me. And you have made that a part of Is this the right spot, Tracy? <laughs> <laughs> we could take that step to see. Mm, I can't get up, Tracy. I can't get up. This is really gonna be. So all you gotta do is say, ow. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the penetration happened, right there, right there. 
Ow. out of me because I love your voice, Thank but you. I, I don't know if I want the that experience. memory. Oh, yeah. that's so but sad. anyways, but back to you with uh, the question <laughs> is I'm wondering too, mm -hmm. one, when it comes to motherhood and a lot of times, just like you were saying, you don't know everything that comes with it. Like mm -hmm. we don't even know all the different ways our body changes. Oh Lord. How did you embrace yourself as new inches are popping up in places, all of that? Him. That's right here made me comfortable with me anyway. And I know that sounds crazy, but it is a huge part of it because mm -hmm. it's all mental. I think the the most detrimental part of the pregnancy for me was month eighth to the ninth. Like the rest of it, smooth sailing, pretty much. It was textbook. Like the first three months I was throwing up everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then three through <sighs> seven, eight, I was fine. Mm -hmm. And then you get to that eight month mark and I'm like, oh, I'm huge. I have two noses. <laughs> I've put on 300 pounds, it feels like. Huh. Mm. And now I have to give birth to a baby. Wow, this baby has to come out of my vagina? Right. Or I have to get sliced open? There's no, t there's no pleasant option for having a kid. So when I got to that place, him rubbing my feet and rubbing my belly and still kissing my forehead and still holding me exactly the same way we had been since July 50, mm -hmm. two years ago, that made me feel better. Yeah. So it's embracing that part and having someone with you that's riding for you and with you. Mm -hmm. That, I could be 400 pounds or four pounds and he wouldn't care. Like it's it's a big part of it. Yeah. And that made me more comfortable and confident. I love it. Man, don't mess this up, Des. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what's crazy? <laughs> right. Now, where, <laughs> where we are praying, folk, and we pray that, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I can't call what's going to happen. Yeah. But we have this. Mm -hmm. right. And if it turns into a past tense where we had it, we can only hold on to what that is because we have a kid now, so that's forever anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. So God forbid this is still always going to be this regardless. And we oh. hope to see it to the end, like everybody else does. Yeah, uh, yeah that's beautiful. Marsha be, Marsha be writing songs when she's doing interviews. This is her responses be verses. <laughs> you know, bars be bars. bars. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad you brought up bars, man, because I often use you as a uh, just as an, a fine example of an artist who's um, able to just g give up. Like when you came in here and we start, I start doing your introduction, and you just start vamping behind me. Mm -hmm. I, I just thought, man, we haven't heard that beautiful voice in a long time. If I don't know, we got this thing we do called the Five Fingers of Death, Marsha. What? Well, mm. You know what? Well, no, I might ask you to rap or sing or maybe do both. But just to, if you could just play a little play, just do something over beats. I thought it would be <laughs> kind of dope. Let's just see what happened, Marsha. <laughs> oh Lord! Show my door. You are now entering the Five That's Fingers of Death, DJ Wonder. It's five okay, unique beats meant to Johnny Gill did it. Stamina. I saw the look in his eyes. This guy is crazy. Well, many my, have my, tried. My, my. I'm the best. This is just another chance for me to prove it. But many have failed. Give me some hip hop. <laughs> it's something the so five cool. fingers of just death. Sing something, rap something, spoke the word something on the five different beats. Just something. Since we got you here. Uh, sway in the morning, shade four five. Mm. Home of the truth. In the morning, yeah. Marsha Ram Roaches on the MIC. I got Jazz by my side now. Rocking right here in NYC. I got my jewelry on and my blazers. Yeah, you know, I got a lot of flavor. Marsha shirt and the sea had to be like. I, I can't freestyle, but I sing as yes. heavy as I can do. And you change that track on me, and I know that I'm about to come through. It makes me wipe my head from side to side and do what I do. Tonight I'm gonna perform at BB Kings, and I know you're gonna be there too. As I'm rocking the mic, because you do it again, and you're rocking this thing, and why you keep switching on me. I got Des Phillips at my side, and I know that my knowledge is gonna be calling me. I got my daughter in the truck, and I know I don't say I can't curse on the mic because I know that I know it's all right. It's all right. It's serious. Yes, it's serious XM. Hey. Sway's universe and serious XM satellite radio. Ooh. I know this smooth, the smoothest sound, and I know that I got to go. Ooh. How long 
Kiss the beat gon' last because I know that I can't flow. We just got one more Kiss beat. Kiss the beat, flow a tree, but no more because <laughs> now it's just me. I'm so low, I got that rock in that thing, and I know what I do is change again, and I do it too. Why you gon' do this, DJ? I don't do this for real. I don't do this for real, hey. not for real, like N-E-R-D. But I know that you can see me. <laughs> I like that. All right. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get That was so dope. dope yeah. That was God, dope. Your voice is dope. Hey. That was dope. None of that was pre-written. None hey. of it, son. <laughs> <laughs> Look, people be coming in here. Look, Sway. Yes. Mm. Not calling no names. Okay. <laughs> But people come on here yeah. to spit their finest pre-written 32 bar freestyle. Yeah, yeah, off the top of the head. I, on the other hand, get put on the spot and just decide to sing and flow. Sometimes. You did that. You killed that's that. Awful. That because awful. that's a testament to your awful. talent, man. We got some callers on the line. Yeah, we do. You didn't mention that flowetry thing, so there's no chance that it ever happened. No. Um, Y'all still cool? No. You know what's crazy? Certain things. And this this goes beyond why Flowetry broke up because learning only two years ago, a year ago, I'd say mm-hmm. most recently, um, why we're just not supposed to be in a group together. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's okay with me. I had to find closure in, in understanding what that was. And it has nothing to do with, I guess, all the years of the rumors as to why we broke up. They don't even matter anymore because our fans don't care. Yeah. And doing the reunion, that was why we did it well why i did it anyway it was really mm-hmm. for the friends and the um the understanding that music surpasses the the bullshit the bullshit you know yeah. so check your egos at the door mm-hmm. get on stage and do this for real but if the last thing that happens on a tour is i found out i was pregnant a week into the last tour mm-hmm. last year Mm-hmm. Like a weekend, so it's hey, Marsha and Brosius, you are pregnant. Yes, it's only five weeks. It's high risk. Um, what are you doing? You're on a forty date tour. Yeah, you might want to be careful. So I didn't tell anyone until the last week, until I was actually throwing up on like the first row mm-hmm. of every crowd we were performing <laughs> for, and I was like, oh, I might have to disclose that you know mm-hmm. I'm pregnant. So in the whole camp, then learning that I was pregnant. The last thing that happens on that tour bus is she's smoking weed on the tour bus. Uh, uh-huh. I'm like, oh, you just are the most not get right person. You uh-huh. just will never pray for me, look out for me, nothing. Uh-huh. It's just not there. We're not. We. I was like, oh, we were ever cool? Were we ever cool? Uh-huh. And it kind of makes you check yourself. I was like, I was really loyal to a fault to someone that didn't expect me to be there because uh-huh. they weren't my friend like that. And I remember her saying it the, the first year of the Flow Tree reunion, like, why why did you defend me? Like, you didn't have to do that. I'm like, I'm a Leo. I'm your homie. Yeah, That's what I would writer. do. I, w- yeah. I wasn't going to tell... The rumors were better to to deal with. Oh, they were lesbians, and that's uh-huh. why they broke up. First of all, I'm not lesbian. Okay. Never so that, that wasn't um, true. But absolutely not true. Okay. But it was better to deal with than on my side. The reason why I couldn't handle it is she was in an abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. And it was hard to see her deteriorate like that. And decisions made on her behalf because she was uncomfortable with our management. So she got her dude that was crazy to manage her, who then said to Jimmy Iovine and... um, Everyone over at Geffen, Ron Fair at Geffen, who we ended up after DreamWorks, like, oh, if you don't give her a solo deal, we're walking away. Mm-hmm. So Geffen said, all right. Walk away. Walk. Yeah. So I'm left at the label, like, well, what do I do now? And that's how Amanda Diva ends up on a Flow Tree remixed tour because mm-hmm. I was still obligated to sell some records for this deal that I'm tied into. Mm-hmm. Once again, not everyone's going to say, oh, let me walk away. No. You still had to. You still had liability. Slave to the rhythm Slave at that to, point. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, bad decisions were made on that. How part. did the Amanda? Um, ev- uh, that was addition. a phone call. Okay. That was just a phone call, and then we got called because of that, and then that all goes haywire. Mm-hmm. Understandably so. Amanda Diva, I'm so sorry. I tried to fight her one day. 
You tried to fight her? Can you imagine? Why? Like it got there. <laughs> Marsha, you fight? No, I, I don't. I don't. But it got so intense because of everything that was happening. And I'm sorry, Amanda, to be calling you out yeah. on radio. But it did happen. Yeah. And we but look at each other now. Like, it was just stress. Yeah. It was chaos. It was chaos. Yeah. It was so chaotic. And the first year of the reunion tour, may as well go in. Yeah. So... Yeah. Remember Sprint um, talk, like the, the walkie-talkie joint? Yeah, yeah, the um, joints. The... So imagine him and I not knowing each other. We just met. So the entire Flow Tree Band, well, not the entire, um, a portion of them plus her had this app where they would talk to him and it would come up on your phone as speakerphone. Mm-hmm. So it would be, yo, you ain't popped that yet? Yo, you know she a whore, right? You know she hit everything in Philly. What's up, bro? Like you ain't you ain't wow. fuck yet? Wow. I never we never this is when we're just yeah. we don't know each other like that. Yeah. So I'm like, no, let it play, because it just pops up as a voice note and saves as voice notes. So everybody has recordings on this app. So when it was like, I can take locker room talk. I've been yeah. a ball player all my life. Yeah. Been locker room talk. I can take that. What I couldn't take was listening to her voice chime in like, yeah, Des. That broke me. Wow. But I still got on that stage every mm-hmm. night, mm-hmm. did what I had to do. I even did another year mm-hmm. of the same thing. So what happens that year is I meet him. What happens the second year is we're having a baby. Mm-hmm. So my blessings keep escalating because I've just decided to let whatever that BS, what everyone else was putting on me, that yeah. bullet in my back, like, it's your fault. You messed up, Flo, you. you left. You're the one that's out here. I'm just being me. I can't take the light off of me. Yeah. I couldn't mm-hmm. hide if I tried. My eyes are green. I have big mm-hmm. hair. Yeah, yeah. Weird yeah. accent. You have it's a great not talent. Gonna, and, it's not going to, yeah. I can't stop that. Mm-hmm. And I used to. Mm-hmm. I used to really, okay, I'm not going to say anything in interviews. Mm-hmm. I'll be the quiet one. I'll just go on stage, I'll sing. Uh-huh. I'll just write and produce. And that yeah. was me. Yeah, yeah. Because of that. So I can't even hold against what it was back then. Yeah. I can only account for what happened the past two years. Yeah. And understand uh-huh. that, okay, so now trying to get right, and the last thing you do is smoke weed on this bus. Yeah. You don't wish me well. You uh-huh. don't. And I, I can't. I tried. I really tried for the fans. Uh-huh. Tried. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Hardest, like a tear could come to my eye thinking thinking about about all the mess that happened, but what happened because of it. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, there's a reason for everything, and I found love because of it because I decided to forgive myself, my understandable loyalty. I'll never fault anything that she did, Mm -hmm. I can only understand it. I can't fault the people that took her side, that's what they're supposed to do, yeah. But trying to make people believe that our manager at the time blacklisted her from getting booked mm-hmm. in America. Mm-hmm. And like you have this vendetta against Julius Irving the third, like he has that kind of power mm-hmm. to stop you from getting a gig. I'm like, I didn't know he had it like that. <laughs> I really yeah. didn't know that my manager had it like that. Wow, yeah, but see, you know, I respectfully never pride, but I was always curious to what happened because I met y'all together. Right. When y'all first came over, y'all right. were yearlings. Didn't know what was around you. Nothing. You know, we just landed in a wave in Philadelphia when Jill Scott recorded her first album, uh-huh. Music, Bilal, Glenn Lewis, and we're mm-hmm. just like, I want whatever's happening in here. Give me mm-hmm. that. And then we just happened to do Flowetic. Yeah, like all of that music coming from the same people. So bouncing from room to room listening to Andre Harris do The Way, yeah. and then we walk in and we do Say Yes for Ron Isley. Mm-hmm. Then we do Butterflies for Mike. Mm-hmm. Ron Isley doesn't take Say Yes, so it's kept as a flow with you record. And all of these other things kept happening. It's mm-hmm. like, okay, if I was a bird, Keith and D, hey, you, Dre and Vidal, like mm-hmm. all of these songs, Dre all of that Vidal. good music. Yeah, uh, Carvin and Ivan, Carvin, Keith and D. Yeah, man. It's, it was... It was a superstar moment for, for what that was for that Philadelphia movement. We just happened to land at the right time. James and Victor to play. Yeah, they were all in the same touch of jazz. I was touch there jazz, with you. Right. You know, right. So, so wow. So it's just crazy how years go by, things still happen, and the circle 
that is still of mine, very, very small, but I still mm. work with the same people. Yeah. Same people. Like, even with Dre and Vidal, like, they did your hands on late nights, early mornings, mm-hmm. and, like, we still work. Mm-hmm. You know, that's 17 years of friendship that, like I said, regardless of what happens here, we have forever, whether it's through music, whether it's through love, like, there's no love lost on my part. Mm-hmm. I just understand who I have to be and who I have to keep away from me. Mm-hmm. Wow, Marsha. Thank you for sharing that with us and and then i think a lot of folks gonna hear this story and learn from it when i when when these stories are being told it's not to exploit or any of that shit i just know you as a real person Mm -hmm. and and folks may know you from what they see on the screen or here on a uh on a recording but Mm -hmm. people go through shit and you just (laughs) don't know know and it's like you try and keep it contained and in this bubble just to give the illusion that you know what Mm -hmm. these songs that you're listening to it's just music. It's, yeah, not, it's not. It's real moments. It's it's almost free therapy for me to be able to get on stage and sing these songs again and be like, "Damn, I was going through some shit." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, God bless you. You strong, kid. <laughs> it's oh, just I mean, music, man. man. Yeah, but yeah. life happens. Life happens. And thank, thank goodness it did. Because had um, it's crazy how how life works out. Had her and I been on talking terms and been okay, I might not have met him. Mm. You wouldn't have, probably. Not even, not even a little bit. Yeah. You and Amanda are still cool? Yeah, I saw her recently okay. and we are we do we do the very uncomfortable Yo, yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> Every time, Y'all gonna laugh though. at it now. She's doing great. Nah, nah you know, amazing. She's doing amazing Listen, for herself. Amanda Miss. is the most hustle, get where she yeah. fit in ever. So I'm, she I'm never ever so working. proud. Never. Yeah. And, and it's doesn't not diva get her no credit more. where cr- it, right it's Amanda it Seals. Sorry, so yeah, I'm diva. sorry for calling yeah. you the diva, but yeah, yeah. I'm saying from back then. Yeah. But Amanda Seals, yeah, like everything that she's she's been doing mm-hmm. by right, she's been hustling. Mm-hmm. So kudos to her, man. Absolutely. Wow, we got uh, Siobhan on the line from New York. Good morning, Siobhan. Siobhan. Hey, Siobhan. Siobhan. Hey, good morning, Sway. Good morning, Marsha. I just wanted to give you a big shout out, Marsha. Big ups to you. You've been through everything. You are so strong such a survivor you are beautiful i love your voice girl i've been a fan of yours since flow tree thank you stop playing and i'm so glad to hear you back on the scene yo you just killed that freestyle by the way off the top of your head and they kept switching the beat on you yeah you just killed it yeah that's a, stop that's... playing so yeah i just wanted to give y'all big ups like i love you sway i listen to y'all every day thank you um and that's it. That's it. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank love you. and blessings. Love you too. That's Absolutely. dope. That's hey, dope. Hey, like you know it. what? You know what, Siobhan? Pick up her new music, too. She's doing it all by herself. Love mm-hmm. yous out there. Don't yeah. wake the baby. Hook that up, yeah. okay? Go get it. I sure will. I sure will. All right. That's what's up. Uh, I'll turn my mic off instead of hers. Uh, Dads, anything you want to add to this, man? <laughs> Shout out to Buffalo. <laughs> 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 That's it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> love you, Marsha. Yes. Love you too. Keep striving, okay? No, I love you, you know, man. I'm always an ally. This Appreciate is this it. is how we get down, you okay? Know it. You always know it. gonna be an ally in your That's corner. Dope. Thank you, man. All right. Hey, can you do me a favor though? Since you here and got mm-hmm. that beautiful accent, this is a promo <laughs> we're doing. I was hoping maybe you can read it. Something big is happening here at Sirius XM. Yeah. This is one of the only um, uh, uh, platforms that actually makes money every single year mm-hmm. in the subscribership. Um, escalates every single year. Everybody else is making it look like it. But this is where it's really happening. So one of our new additions is this. Go ahead, read that. Go ahead. The most influential rock band of all time is getting their own Sirius XM channel. Sirius XM proudly announces The Beatles Channel. The Beatles? The Beatles yeah. Are they that's from right. Liverpool? That's Are right. they like me, born and raised, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hear the Fab Four 24-7 on the band's one and only official channel. Launches exclusively on Sirius XM May 18th. SiriusXM.com slash Beatles for more info. You know what I did? There it is right there. That's all we had. You do it. (laughs) 
All right, uh, we're going to take your comments on today's show. I'm going to end this interview with Don't Wake the Baby. Hey. Okay, hey. and uh, thank you for coming through. <laughs> thank you. And for come back, me, okay? Don't forget Absolutely. the shows are BB Kings tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, tonight and tomorrow night. Nice. Okay. I'll be on stage live. With Eric Benet? Eric Benet's performing too. So okay. That's a dope. That's a dope. Sexy. So bring I'm a date. A, bring a or date. Or don't. Okay. Come single. Come. <laughs> Leave with something. There it is. <laughs> it is okay. uncuffing season, everybody. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, it's good to meet you, man. Appreciate All it. All right. Stay st- stay st- stay solid. Definitely. I didn't know Definitely. Buffalo guys were solid like that. <laughs> Ever since yeah. y'all, y'all lost all those Super Bowls. You I didn't know, know what? Oh, okay. Here we go. Well, well, you know I lived in Philly, so I can't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. E-A-G-L-E-S. Okay, Eagles. Wow. They still play? All right. Thank you. We'll take your calls. 888-742-3345. Go Raiders. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shea 45. Give it